Hey Epic Life family, we're so excited to join you today. I'm at the house today streaming with this very small group of people because we're all doing our best to obey the six foot rule. We're also excited to be the church online and because of your generosity and your faithfulness, we're able to do this and come into your homes virtually every single week. The great thing is that in the midst of all this chaos, right, in the, in the craziness of our world right now with COVID-19, we know that we have the hope of Jesus, right? We have the peace that goes beyond our understanding. We have the church. So we're so thankful for technology at this time. It's been so cool to see what our Epic Life family has, has been posting online about our services. We've had families who all gathered up in their living rooms and worshiped with us during our services, right? We still had church. We still lifted our hands and we entered in and we worshiped. So we wanna see more of what you're doing. Take a photo and of you watching our services this weekend. Come on, take a photo and add the hashtag EpicLifeORL so that we can share all that God is doing at Epic Life. So no matter where you're at today, whether you're here in Florida or you're all over the United States, even across the globe, as so many of you are, as you're joining online with us today, we would love the opportunity to connect with you. Yes, we wanna connect with you and you can do that today by texting eConnect to 313131. You can also go to epiclifeorl.com slash get connected and fill out our virtual connection card. If this is your first time with us, your 10th time with us, we wanna know who is joining us today. Now, normally our visitors would get a free and a pretty awesome gift, but since we're online today, we wanna to hear from you. So make sure you text us, you email us, let us know where you're watching from. And if you want, we'll drop that free welcome gift in the mail and ship that right to you wherever you are. Now, while you're still browsing our site, we also wanna remind you that we're always praying for you. Come on, our pastors and our leaders are always looking for ways to serve you. And if you need prayer, we want to be there for you. You can fill out your prayer request at that same site, epiclifeorl.com slash get connected. And someone from our team will reach out to you and pray with you. We would love the chance to get to pray for you and encourage you. If you have a specific need during this time of isolation and where we are because of COVID-19, but even in a time like this, we want you to know we're still here and our church is still open and ready to pray for you, even when we can't meet at, at our church location. Well, hey, Easter is just around the corner and you do not have to skip an Easter experience with your family this year. First off, we have an incredible Easter service planned for you all Sunday long at varying times. Plus, now get ready for this, we have an amazing service planned this Easter Sunday for all of our epic kiddos. Easter Jam is an experience big enough for your whole family. That's right, from preschool to high school, Easter Jam is a digital experience, including engaging games, uplifting music, creative storytelling, and follow-up discussion questions and every family member can enjoy. This online experience will be available for download on epiclifeorl.com slash epickids. Then, once you're finished with your Easter Jam experience, you can go ahead and, and set up your Easter egg hunt with the Easter Kids that we're providing for you this weekend. And if you're wondering what an Easter kit is, an Easter kit is basically an Easter egg hunt in a bag. We didn't want anyone missing out on our annual Epic Kids Easter egg hunt. So we made a way for you to have your very own Easter egg hunt at home. If you haven't picked up your Easter egg kit yet, there's still one more day to do just that. Tomorrow, from 11 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., you can come pick up your Easter kit at the Epic Life campus and all you have to do is park your car and our team will bring out an Easter kit straight to you. For more information and updates on our Easter kits, be sure to check out Epic Life Kids on Instagram. So take advantage of these resources today. Get connected with us. It's so important to stay connected and to stay engaged in a time like this. Well, hey, it's Good Friday. We've got so much to celebrate today. Are you ready? I want you to write right now in the comments below. Say, I'm ready, I'm here. Let us know where you're watching from today. It's time to get your family around you or if you're by yourself, get your heart right, get your mind right, and let's worship Jesus today. Come on, let's celebrate Good Friday.
are so grateful for the cross of Jesus. What a savior, what a friend, amen. Did you enjoy that worship? Well, we wanna invite you into our home. Right now we are in the Munizzi home. This is our house. This is my husband, Dan, and our children. These are our kids, Nicole and Danielle and Nathan. And we just kinda of wanted to unplug a little bit and film our Good Friday service in our home. And that's what we're doing. Uh, and we're only here with just a few other people to make this happen, so don't worry. We are social distancing. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. 
And we just wanted to do this because we know that we've been in our house for several weeks and you've been in your house for several weeks. And so this is what we're all doing. We're in our homes. And so tonight, we just want to have our Good Friday service kind of laid back, relaxed. And, and I think it's going to really encourage you. So maybe grab your family, friends and gather around. This is a great time for you to share this link, to start a watch party on, on uh, Facebook, to let people know that we're on YouTube right now. And let's just enjoy Good Friday and reflect what Jesus did for us on Good Friday. What an incredible celebration of Easter. But right now we want to celebrate Friday night, what was happening. Jesus gave his life for you and for me on Good Friday. That's why it's so good, right? That's why it's good. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to sing a little bit more. I've got my kids here. I love singing with my kids. My husband's going to play. He's such a great musician. Amazing. And we're just going to sing and it's just real laid back. and. So we just want to invite you and then we're going, going to uh, take communion. We're going to receive communion, all of us as a family. I've got a, just a, a short word that's going to encourage you. And then at the end of this uh, service, we're all going to join together and receive communion together. So right now you may say, well, I don't have the elements. I don't know what to do. Okay, here's what you do. Just run to your kitchen pantry, maybe get a piece of bread, a cracker, some grape juice, something that represents the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. And after this service, right at the end, we're going to do something that is so special and we're going to receive communion together and just enjoy this night. So share this, let somebody know that we're on right now. Join with us, go grab what you need and sit back and let's worship together. Good Friday is all about reflecting on the cross and the sacrifice that Jesus paid for all of us. He died for us. And when, when he died, he gave his access into his family. And, um, you know, sometimes we can be so quick to kind of rush to hope instead of just taking a moment to reflect on Jesus. And he died for us. He actually died a brutal death on the cross. I know it's not something we like to talk about or sit and think about, but that's what Good Friday is for. That's what communion's all about, is us sitting and reflecting on the fact that Jesus died. He died for you and he died for for me, and in a few moments, we're going to all receive communion, but let's understand why communion matters to all of us as believers. What is the body of the Lord? Well, the body of the Lord, it's his life. It's what he gave for us. And, and when you take him on, when you take communion, you literally remind yourself that you are a Christian. You're in a relationship with him. This is not a religion. I'm in a relationship. I'm part of the family of God. I wear the name Christian. I take his name on. And then I reaffirm my relationship with God. It's the body of his life. It's my life with his life. And then Jesus takes the cup and he said, uh, in, do this in remembrance of me. What is the cup? What's, it represents the blood. Why is the blood important? Yeah. Well, the blood is where all the power is. Yeah. The blood is what provides for us all that we need on the cross. I love this, this Psalm 103. It's one of my favorite passages. It says, praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. He forgives all your sins and he heals all your diseases. He redeems your life from the pit and, and he crowns you with love and compassion. And then he satisfies your desires with good things. See, these are all benefits. These are all promises that you and I have that are found at the cross. What are the benefits of the cross? Well, the first one is he forgives all my sins. David was literally seeing prophetically into the power of the blood of Jesus that he forgives all my sins. What a promise. So if you're guilty or if you're filled with shame or if you're trapped in an addiction, you can be free in Jesus' name because he forgives all your sins. And then he heals all my diseases. Diseases are not just physical sicknesses. It's everywhere you are diseased, everywhere you are diseased. It could be emotional, it could be mental. And he heals every place I am broken, every place. He's my healer. And then he redeems my life from the pit. That's a good one. So that means he breaks the curse of the devil off of my life. The devil had me in a pit. And he, and he swooped down and he pulled me out of the pit and he saved me and he made me great. And then he set my feet on a rock. And then he redeems my life. In other words, he has a plan for my life. He's got a purpose for my life. 
He crowns me with love and compassion. That's a promise. That, here's what that means. It means he puts inside of you a nature that you're never going to be able to have on your own. I didn't have love and compassion, but he put on a crown of love and compassion on me. And, and when I got saved, he gave me peace and he gave me joy and he put the fruit of the spirit inside of me and he gave me love. I couldn't have that on my own. And then he satisfies my desires with good things. He gives me blessing and he renews my youth. Oh, I need that one. So what are the five-fold benefits of the cross? Well, he forgives all of my sins. I, I, I can find true forgiveness at the cross. And then he heals all my diseases. I'm healed in him. And he redeems my life. You need to be redeemed tonight. You can find redemption at the cross. And then he crowns me with love and compassion. You and I need that. We can't do it on our own. And then he satisfies my desires with good things. The five benefits of the cross. Salvation, healing, deliverance, transformation, and blessing. That right there, you ought to just thank God and give Him praise for those five benefits right there because of the cross. Good Friday is good because of Jesus. Good Friday is good because Jesus lived His life to show you and I how to live. Good Friday is good because God is good. Good Friday is good because of what Jesus did on the cross. You and I can receive salvation. You and I can receive healing. You and I can, fr can, can be free of every addiction, every pain, everything that's holding us down. You and I can receive full, total transformation because of the cross. Now you know why Good Friday is good. When Jesus went to the cross, he took the stripes on his back. He took a, a beating. He was wounded. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. He, was, he, he took a beating for you and I so that we can walk in healing. You and I can walk in wholeness. You and I can walk free. There's freedom in Jesus at the foot of the cross. That's why he's good. That's why he's good. He's so good. That's why we take a moment to reflect the cross of Jesus. Let's not rush through this time. You know, it's so, so easy for you and I to just, just, well, let's get to Easter. Let's talk about the resurrection. And that's so important because that's, the, the resurrection is really what settles the mystery of the cross. The mystery of the cross is settled because of the resurrection. But let's not rush there. We've got a lot of time to celebrate that. Let's, let's take a moment and let's think about the death of Jesus. Let's think about the loss. The, 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 the disciples grieved at the cross. It's important for you and I to think about the fact that Jesus gave his life. He gave his life for you and for me. When I was a little girl, I remember we would watch a show called Lassie, and it was about a dog who would, who would help and rescue people. And they were, they were shows that were made to make you cry and be sad. And I remember I'd be crying about Lassie and somebody lost. And my mother walked in one day and she'd say, she said to me, she said, I can't believe you're crying over a dog. Do you cry over the fact that Jesus died? It must have been around Easter when she, this, do you cry? over Jesus and I was a little girl and I thought you're right I need to be just as broken if not more broken when I think about what Jesus did and in a few moments we're going to take communion and we're going to sing and we're going to worship together and I want us to take time to reflect really feel the fact the, re the revelation the truth that Jesus died for you and me and, the, and that's the only reason today that we're free it's the only reason we're forgiven. It's the only reason we're transformed and redeemed. It's because of the cross of Jesus. You know, I want to pray for all of us tonight because communion is a very holy event. And the Bible tells us that before we even take communion, that we need to get our hearts right before the Lord. And so what that looks like is I want to pray for you. And maybe there's something in your life that you've not really taken the time to sit back and think about. Maybe you've lived with wounds or or, or struggled with unforgiveness or resentment towards someone in your life. It could be a family member. It could be a spouse. It could be a boss. It could be someone in your past that maybe you've just kind of pushed it down and not thought about it in a long time. Well, this is such a powerful moment for you to release that. Com communion reminds us of what Jesus did, the importance of what Jesus did. I never want to forget what Jesus did, and it opens us up to receive 
the sacrifice, the blood and the body so that we can truly be whole. And it's a dangerous thing if we as believers take communion without taking a moment and saying, God, if there's anything in my life, anything in my heart, anything I'm holding on to, I want to let it go right now. I'm ready to forgive. I'm ready to let it go. I want to pray for you right now, right now. And maybe you're sitting with someone that you need to forgive. Maybe there's somebody that you could, you could call after this is over and say, you know what? I need to let it go. I need to forgive you. This is the time. This is this season before we go forward into the Easter celebration. Let's get free. Let's get free of anything that we're holding on to. Can we do that right now? I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you sent your son into this world to hang on a cross, to live and die for us so that we could be forgiven. And because we've been forgiven, it's time for us to forgive. God, we're not going to hold on to something when we've been forgiven through the blood of Jesus and then we hold on to something that just puts us back in bondage. We don't want to live in a place that you died to free us from. God, we want to live in freedom. So right now, just let it go. Just say, Father, in Jesus' name, I forgive. I release anyone and everyone that's hurt me, that's wronged me, and I let it go in Jesus' name. And while you're continuing to pray right now, if you're watching tonight, maybe you're watching the replay, and wherever you are, if you know that you are far from God, you know you need Him, this is a perfect time for you to surrender your life to Christ. Think about what He did. He died on a cross for your sins and mine so that you could be free. And when you just surrender, when you say, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior, I recognize my need for a Savior, He makes you brand new. You are a new creation. And I want to do that right now. If that's you and you say, I need Jesus, I've sinned. I've been going the wrong way. I'm going down the wrong path. I need a Savior in my life. I need forgiveness of sins. This is your time. This is your moment. I just want to pray for you. And all you have to do is just pray this right after me. Just pray this prayer. We're all praying it together. My family with yours. Let's just say it. Say, dear Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner. And I need a Savior. I recognize and I believe that you died for me while I was in my sin. You died for me so that I could be forgiven. You paid the price and you took my place. Jesus, thank you for loving me enough to sacrifice your life for me. I surrender my life to you right now it's yours forgive me i give you my life and i receive your love for me in jesus name amen amen you are new if you prayed that prayer you are brand new and we want to celebrate with you we want to know who you are if you could just take a moment while you're watching this, if you need to pause it or maybe come back to this, there's a link right there that we put in the comments. And you can click on that link and fill out that little connection card and give us the information that's required there because we want to connect with you. We want to know who you are so we can keep praying for you, get you plugged into a good church. And, and then if you could just check the box that says, I made a decision for Christ. Why is that important? Because now you are free now you've been welcomed into the family. We welcome you into the family of God. And we want to make sure that you are taking the steps towards freedom, towards wholeness. This is just step one. There's so much more. And uh, we want to make sure that you are taking those steps. And we want to connect with you. So let us know who you are so we can continue to pray for you. In just a minute, we're going to be taking communion and worshiping together. It's going to be a great time. So let's do that. So are you ready to receive communion with your family or if you're by yourself, this is, you can join with us. We're here with our family and we're gonna receive the elements in just a minute. But before we do, because we're all here together and it's so special, I'd like for us to sing something together. And those of you that are here and you're viewing online, you know, maybe you know the old hymns. I love old hymns. I know my mother appreciates an old hymn every once in a while. I know I do too. And, there's a beautiful song about the cross of Jesus, and I just want to sing it. Can we do that? Let's just sing it together. And if you know it, just sing along with us. 
At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. And it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy. Let's sing that together. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. And it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. The cross of Jesus is what we are reflecting on when we receive communion, all of us, together as a family of believers. And I want to read from 1 Corinthians verse 11, chapter 11, starting at verse 24. It says, The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So right now is a great time. Nicole, if you'd like to come and let's, you can take for you and your brother and sister. And we're going to receive the elements together. This is so special, our family together doing this. This is awesome. You want to take that bread and you can... Put it in your hand and just hold on to it for just a moment. This is how we remember Jesus. We remember the body of Jesus. It's all about Jesus. That's, that's what this is all about, the broken body of Jesus. And, we, and, and when we take communion, here's what we do. We look, we look back. Communion's all about looking back on what Jesus did. We thank Him for what He did. And then we look within we take a moment and we reflect and we say jesus if there's anything in my heart take it out we just did that we prayed that prayer if you're just joining us pray a prayer right now and look within and say i want I, I want to receive communion so i want to look within and make sure that there's nothing in there's nothing in my heart that's keeping me from a relationship with god that's how we look within and then we we look ahead and we we thank god for what he's going to do he's coming back he is our soon coming King. He's coming back. So when we receive the bread of Jesus, we are looking within, we are looking back, we are looking within and we are looking ahead. Let's take the bread together. Amen. The verse goes on to say, in the same way after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink of whenever you drink it in remembrance of me let's take the cup together amen amen jesus made a way for us and this beautiful that we get this opportunity to receive communion because it's all about him you guys it's all about him it's not about us he paid the price. So, so no matter what's happening last week, this week, next week, we can reflect on how good God is. And some of you may be watching and you think, I know you keep talking about how good God is. You keep talking about how good Jesus is, but I'm not good and I don't deserve it. None of us are good. None of us deserve it. But today we are looking back. We are looking within. We're looking ahead at what Jesus did. And we're just receiving the gift of Jesus. That's what Good Friday is all about. Lord, we receive everything you did on the cross. We're about to celebrate your resurrection, but tonight we want to celebrate the cross. I want to pray. We're going to sing a little bit more, but I want us to pray together with all of our families. If you need healing right now, I want you to receive the healing of the Lord. With the body and the cup of Jesus, I want you to receive healing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that as we receive communion tonight, your power is flowing through us. Your healing 
is accessible to us. Your forgiveness is available because of the body of Jesus, because you were broken for us. You gave us access to your throne and we thank you for that. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. And God, we worship you tonight for all that you've done. God, we, we look back and we thank you for all the goodness, all the promises. You've been so faithful to us, God, and we thank you. God, we look within and we say, God, anything that's standing in the way of a relationship with you, God, we wanna get it right. We wanna get it right. God, we look ahead and we rejoice that greater days are ahead. We don't have to be stuck where we are. We don't have to be worried about the way things are right now. Greater days are coming. This too will pass. And God, greater days are coming and greater works are coming and you're gonna work through us in ways we cannot even imagine. And so we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen, amen. Let's sing a little bit more together. Can we do that? We sing all the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. We sing all the blood of Jesus. It washes white. As snow, there's forgiveness in the blood. There's forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. Forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. There's forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Come on, let's sing. There's healing in the blood. Oh, there's healing in the blood of Jesus. There is healing in the blood of Jesus. There's healing. Jesus is our healer, he's our savior, he's our redeemer, he's our Lord, he's our friend, he's our soon coming king, he's everything. And that's why we celebrate. That's why we take time to honor God on Good Friday. I hope that you've enjoyed this time with our family. We just kind of unplugged a little bit and wanted to come and worship with you. And I encourage you this, this Sunday in two days, we're celebrating Easter. Easter is the resurrection of Jesus. It's one of our favorite times of the year as believers. And I know we can't really join together in person, but you know what? The church isn't closed, just our buildings are. <laughs> so we're gonna be coming to you live on Easter Sunday. You don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be an incredible time. A lot of different times you can watch. Tell your friends, tell your families. Join back in with us on Sunday mornings. Guys, have a great night. Enjoy your weekend and we'll see you back on Easter right here online epic online. We'll see you guys later. God bless you guys.